Day 10. 12 days of Yule hashtag. Today's prompt is share your winter candle spell. I love making candles and I don't make them enough. And I don't make them enough on this channel either. I'm telling myself what for. Sorry, have, have you know. <laughs> but I thought I'd do a spell candle to welcome the light. So we're going to have um, about one third of the candle in blue, representing the darkness and winter. And about two thirds of the candle is going to represent welcoming the light. We're gonna have corresponding herbs, a tree, crystals, uh, flower petals, all kinds of goodies, incense. I guess it's more like a resin. We're going to have all kinds of goodies in there. Then we'll have a little invocation at the end. We're going to charge up the candle on my altar with a charge board. And uh, let's have a little nice words to guide the candle along its way and let it know what it needs to do. So join me today as we welcome the light. got my simmer pot on picked out some ingredients you got my little double boiler gonna rock with this got some spruce some pine I have my candle and I think let's play I got my water ready to do my double boiler method and I like to use soy wax. Soy wax is one of my favorites to use. I use it flakes. It burns so long. It costs a little bit more, but it burns like four or five times the amount longer than other candles. It's unreal. So if I'm not measuring, I'm not measuring, weighing out my candle wax. I poured a little too much here. I actually want a little bit less. So whatever you need. So if you're filling up this, if you want this entire candle container to be full, then you double the amount of your soy flakes. I'm just doing the one because I'm doubling it up because I want this a little bit less than half full. And this doesn't want to stay down because I don't have a lot of flakes in there. So it's not weighing it down enough that it, like it normally does. So while our wax is melting, let's get our ingredients ready. We're going to start off with the bottom part of the candle and that's the blue part. So I'm going to have some mistletoe ruled by the sun and air. This ancient magical properties of mistletoe include the magical empowerment of love, fertility, connection. Mistletoe is used to empower magical work as well as being used in solar ceremonies and to aid the connection with the gods. Holly, ruled by the Mars and the element fire, good for dream magic, luck and protection. Holly is hung in the home to protect against lightning, poison, evil spirits, as well as to bring good luck at Yule. Holly is also carried to increase luck, especially in men in masculine herb, while ivy's traditional brings luck for women. Now we have some blue spruce I sourced. Spruce reminds us of how the inner resilience of not to give up, regardless of what is happening or what obstacles may be in our path. The blue spruce gives ancient wisdom, goddess energy, healing, protection, purification, and spiritual refreshment. So 
So we'll take our wax off the burner, put in our ingredients, and of course we are going to stir in some color, some moon blue, this one's called. Now my wax will not cool down translucent, it will cool down a white, so the blue will be a lighter blue. So I'm adding a little bit more. And stir your wax until completely melted. Getting our wick ready, straighten out the wax wick. And I almost forgot to cleanse my jar. Three times clockwise. I like to use either the sticky stickers for putting down my wicks or you could use hot glue gun too. Both I use and I find works equally well. So securing it in and ready to pour. It is this beautiful sapphire color, but it's probably going to cool down to a lot lighter blue. I'm figuring a sky blue. Don't forget all the little bits and pieces that you have, all your ingredients. Make sure to scrape those out. and let it cool for this size was about an hour and you want to let it cool down fully before you add your next color of, of wax or else it'll just break the seal and then the colors will mix we're going to bring in some chamomile ruled by the sun as well and fire it's used in in a part of pagan ritual spells to enhance positive energy and bring emotional spiritual balance Unlike some herds that simply repel negative energy, the chamomile is sought to transform negative energy into positive light. Now the sunflower also is much like the chamomile where it's associated with the sun due to its bright yellow flowers. Now the sunflower is ruled by the sun and fire. It's good for wishes, fertility, truth, integrity, lots protection, loyalty, and happiness. They're known for their tendency to turn their faces towards the sun, following the path throughout the day. This behavior symbolizes adoration, faith, and devotion. Orange peel, ruled by the sun and fire. Notice my theme. Citrus fruits, including the orange peel, are associated with the sun and used for their uplifting and purifying qualities, joy, success, abundance, happiness, luck and money and prosperity, fidelity, fertility, purification, and renewal, such as clarity, growth, and sun magic and celebration. Now cinnamon, ruled by the sun, Mars, and fire. Known for its warming and energizing properties, cinnamon is associated with the sun and it's used for success, prosperity, victory, and to speed up spells. Also good for money and love spells. Now you want to crunch up these pieces as small as you can. 
Because if you have too many ingredients or your ingredients are too large, then it clogs up the burn of the candle and it puts out your flame. Let's add some frankincense now, also ruled by the sun, fire, and the element air. This resin is linked to solar energy, is often used in spiritual practices for purification and connection. Symbolizing purification, spirituality, and connecting to higher realms. In spiritual healing, its mystical properties are believed to cleanse energies, uplift the spirit, and promote inner peace and balance. Now that our ingredients are ready, add it to the next part of our wax. Let's add some sunny yellow for this is more of a golden yellow for the golden dawn to come. Now stirring intention clockwise as it goes. What would you like for this coming year to welcome the light? As you pour, think about welcoming the light and what that means to you. Sit for a moment while your candle cools. Program it. Let it know that it's about to have a purpose. Now that your candle is almost cooled down, let's add a few things to the top. Add in some more frankincense. Some more blue spruce, the tree of birth. It's scented evergreen needles signifying resilience and strength. And cinnamon for its energizing properties. Orange peels for joy and success for this new light to come. Our next is Clear Quartz Wishing Crystal for purity protection to boost the other ingredients, to enhance the other ingredients in the spell candle. And I have some little pieces of citrine and one piece of little jasper and one little piece of cat's eye, all to help bring on the sun light. Clipping off my wick, making sure that my orange peels and my other bits and pieces are not gonna be 
interfering with the flame. Let's go to my altar now. By the flame that dances in the winter's night, I call upon magic, pure and bright. As the days grow short and the darkness encroaches, I light this candle and my spirit approaches. In the hush of the winter air, I welcome the light and banishing despair. With warmth and brace, I beckon the sun, a symbol of grace. Herbs, spruce, flowers, and crystals of delight infuse this candle with magic so bright. I welcome the sun, drawing it near. May the light within me shine like a star, guiding me through winter far. So mote it be with love and light. As I celebrate winter and welcome the light.